Hello and welcome to BEC Podcast. I'm Mark Phelan for Babington Europe and I'm joined today by Ronan Labar and Audrey Fontaine. European bronze medalists in mixed doubles from Colding a few months ago. And uh, guys, first of all, thank you for joining us here today. Ronan, if I can come to you first and if you can just tell us a little bit about uh, mixed doubles in particular in France and you know, the competition and level of players at senior level and maybe you know, what's coming along behind uh, w with the younger players. Hi Mark, hi uh, everyone. Uh, well, I think uh, at the moment we are um, quite many uh, mixed team in France mm. with uh, a good level. Uh, it's getting stronger and stronger every year. And uh, I think that the, the fact we, we get the medal last year um, show everyone and every young ones that they are able to do it because we practice together. They, they beat us at practice sometimes. Mm. So everyone is uh, pushing Mm -hmm. uh, because of these results and uh, it's also quite good for us because now we can feel that they they know they can beat us and, and they really want that so it's, uh, it's also pushing us uh, every day at the practice and uh, also with the, the young ones you, you talk about the junior there is uh, Tom uh, Gickel and uh, Delphine Delru who are playing extremely well uh, this season and uh, I think they they will soon be from in the, the, the first uh, team in, in the French team. Mm. Cool. Um, Audrey, that European medal, and I'll come back to you a little bit in uh, a few minutes, Ronan, about the journey to the European medal, but the European medal that you won in, here in Denmark, uh, what has that done for French badminton? Uh, I think nobody expects that we mm. will win the medal, but we did it, so mm. we are quite happy. And we get a lot of things after the medal, then everyone contact us and mm. yes, a lot of uh, reconnaissance. Gr greetings. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, was there much media exposure around it? Was did you did you get any traction, any grip with the with the w with the French media? Not so much okay. with the French media, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are a bit disappointed uh, yeah. about it, but yeah, I think mostly the, the people who love badminton yeah. in France come to us, uh, send a lot of messages and everything. Yeah, it was... Uh, Is it an inspiration yeah. to the younger ones? Do they say, oh, Ronald and Audrey have won this medal, we can also do that now? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah big inspiration to them. Yeah. The journey to that medal, Ronald, you know, you don't just turn up at a European Championships uh, with your bag and go out <coughs> and win a medal. There's a lot of, I guess, hard work that goes into it. You know, from a very young age, what is it that has set you apart to get to this point of winning a European medal? Uh, well, that's uh, quite a question. <laughs> <laughs> can be can be long, but... Uh, uh, we've, uh, we've got time. <laughs> uh, I think I, I never expected uh, to to go that far in, uh, in a badminton career when I was uh, a young kid. And uh, year after, after year, uh, after I joined the, the national French team, we start to have some good results. With, uh, I had the chance to play with older partner, with Baptiste Carême and uh, Laura Chouanet. And we, we start to win the challenges, uh, uh, be really close uh, to top players uh, during a game, uh, win the Grand Prix at the Dutch uh, also. And from, from those results, we start to, to believe, okay, if we are able to do that, maybe we can go to the next step and uh, why not get a medal? Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's, that's what uh, helped us the most is that we believe deep inside that now we can beat almost everyone in one game. Maybe we are not stable enough or um, compared to, to the Danish or others, but in one game, in one competition, now we, we know we can do it. And I think that's what, I, what helped us uh, last year in, in Denmark. You know, you'll obviously act as an inspiration to young French, but there's lots of young people around Europe who would have been watching it, watching you winning a, a medal uh, at Europeans. This is for you now, Audrey, okay? And uh, also with the Irish won it. And uh, will that give a big inspiration just to European badminton to say, oh, you know, we have some of these unexpected players winning medals. Let's do that also. Yes, I think if we believe it, we can mm. do it, for yeah. sure. I think for us at the European, we get also the draw, draw like we want. Mm -hmm. 
and we were very focused on it and I think it helped us uh, until the, the medal. That European is in the pocket, uh, that medal is in your pocket. Uh, next Europeans come around very quick. Um, and looking at the mixed doubles uh, pairs that are out there at the moment, this is looking like a very open tournament maybe. Do you think you could be able to name or put a uh, name on maybe four pairs that you could see meddling for a European uh, medal next year in Spain? Mm -hmm. Ronald? Uh, well, yeah, it's also quite difficult because mm -hmm. everything is changing. Uh, uh, for me, the, the, the easiest answer is the Adcock, uh -huh. uh, as uh, they are European champion and they keep playing together. Um, but there is also the, the two Danish team, maybe three Danish team, with uh, Christiansen and uh, Pedersen starting together. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, two great players, uh, so they are, they are probably going to be very dangerous at Europeans. Um, there is the comeback of uh, Niklas uh, Nor after his injury, mm -hmm. back with Sarah. I think they, were, they played the final in, in France at Europeans yeah. two years ago. Um, and then I think it's quite open uh, many many players can uh, can believe in their chance uh, the Irish uh, the Maggies uh, the French uh, the Germans also now are, are really strong so um, it's going to be very interesting to mm. see because the seeding will also be uh, important and with all the new partnership coming in Denmark we know how the cities are going to be uh, in eight months. And we, yeah, it's probably eight pairs we can put a finger on and go, they have an opportunity. Is there anyone who we have to look at, you know, that would be, uh, you know, from one of these smaller countries or something like that? Something like you guys have done, win an unexpected medal. Is there anyone that, you know, you could say, well, let's keep an eye on them? Either of you. I don't know. Why not? No. About I don't know all the the, the young players, but mm. maybe look at the at the new at the juniors. Uh, mm. There is the Danish who won the the Czech, uh, uh, Beishmit and Boyer. Mm. I think she, they are playing quite well. Or uh, the French also. I think they are. They they deep inside they they think they can do it. So why not some young players coming? In France right now, there is this. There seems to be this uh, renewed belief in all your abilities, uh, you know, in, in singles, down to doubles and mixed. Uh, why is that? Why all of a sudden do we, f you know, we see uh, f the French badminton scene bubbling and, uh, you know, all this goodness coming to the top? Uh, I think it starts by the youngs mm -hmm. also. Yeah. We can see that now they do very good results. Mm -hmm. And also us, we did a, yes, a good medal because before there is only Ongian who did a medal and the men's double, uh, Zveti and uh, Ervin. Mm -hmm. So we are the third one. So yeah. There is also Briss, of course. Uh, we will show that you can beat the number one in the world uh, two times and uh, beating a lot of top ten also the, the last two years. So. Um, I think it's all this will show that in now, if you believe, you can beat almost yeah. everyone. But what French badminton need now is to be able to beat those players more regularly okay. uh, mm -hmm. and have a better ranking and be really more stable along, along the season. You know, we don't see, we historically we have not seen many French medals. You just mentioned them mm -hmm. all in one, uh, in ten, s in ten yeah. seconds. Uh, <laughs> What has changed to make that belief? Is it it's something in the system? Is it something that uh, the players have coming with the new uh, way of thinking? Or what is it that makes the French now uh, be really feared? <laughs> for, for me, as I said, is it's uh, the, the small results that one is doing and one other is doing. Mm. And who makes everyone getting more confident because if your partner at practice uh, is uh, doing great results, then you think you can do the same. And the next time, maybe he won't be stable and don't do it again, but okay. it's you who is going to do it. And then he's going to think, okay, if he's doing it, I can do it again. And for me, it's about the, the players 
doing one small result, one small result, one small result. And so it's getting more and more and more. And maybe, maybe now at every competition, we will have some French doing a, a good result. Guys, and you've also got this, you know, a strength in depth. There's a lot of, you know, good players at a good level pushing is each other on, I think is, it's also fair to say. Guys, thank you for joining us today. Good insight into French badminton and uh, your amazing run to that European medal, which was great to see. And uh, we wish you all the best for the future, of course. Remember to why not follow these guys on their social media channels and with Badminton Europe. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>